Yo, yo, what's good, everyone? Welcome to my channel. I am a sage who rises today. I will be doing the sun moon rising of Scorpio. So let's get to it. So, Scorpio, there is a thief that's in bed, huh? Okay, this could be a happiness hater, this could be a joy killer. I'm saying that this community has received some type of message here about a previous lady in the past that she's on. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody received sudden wealth and that sudden wealth put their ass in bad health. Oh well, ain't got nothing to do with you. We got Maria Lavo. Well, Marie Lavo. <laughs> Now we got Jay Z. What the hell is Jay Z showing up for? We got mad because when you leave, you never call them. We got tried to take your life and felt justified. We got bad juju. It will backfire on them. We got practice, study, put in work into a new endeavor, and you will master. We got take money from you. Because they felt their kids matter more than yours. Your money though. And it says you can't trust your neighbor. So let's see what's going on. Why is this community here? The Scorpio? Eight of Pentacles. This community could be wanting to work with you. Ten of Swords. Or this, com or this community did some type of work. To curse you. With magic. It was supposed to slow you up. And they was watching. These are people who are stuck in the past. And ain't shit in for you. <laughs> you actually have a new beginning. <laughs> Why is message here? For Scorpio. Yeah. Whatever message somebody is receiving. Is causing, is causing a sudden upheaval. Chaos. Because you're able to alchemize something. While you're resting, rejuvenating, and you got a king of pentacles and a queen of wands who didn't see something coming. You having good news over a lie that was told. I'm saying that you're being seen as self-sufficient and independent. And this is your karmic justice to overcome sadness, depression, despair. Yeah, this is what somebody didn't see. That you was going to overcome it. Why is previous lady here? For Scorpio? Last previous lady here. Yep. Seven of Cups in reverse. Somebody is not in an illusion about you. Queen of Wands. King of Pentacles. Something is being laid to rest for them. While you alchemize some energy. Which is causing some type of backfire. Yeah, I'm seeing that something is causing sudden upheaval. Chaos. Destruction. You don't see this though. Nine of Wands. I'm saying that you didn't give up on yourself. Four of Pentacles. Even though somebody tried to control the situation. Somebody is under judgment while you receive your wish fulfillments. Because something is due to you, a king of cups, you will be able to move the common waters. Somebody could be wanting to communicate with a psychic so that something could be exposed. Yeah, about their destiny in the distant horizon. Or this could be you. Why is pathway? Yeah, the path somebody chose, they did not want to give up until they had control of a situation. Five of Swords, this is somebody who wanted to play mind games. They wanted to play God in your life. So they was inviting you places just to get you to walk away from your divine masculine so that you could be in sadness, regret, sorrow. This person is getting karma. Why is Marie Laveau here? Two of Wands. I'm saying that the path you chose, your hard work will be paying off. Ace of Pentacles, somebody could have paid someone. Nine of Wands to take an impulsive ass action. Nine of Swords to cause you sleepless nights and anxiety. King of Swords, that's the truth. On the action somebody took to cause you ups and downs. I'm saying that you was able to adapt to a situation. Now you're receiving your happily ever after. And somebody is not even apologetic. This is why they're getting bad news. A Queen of Pentacles tried to get victory and success in a toxic connection. They thought they cloaked themselves, but they missed the opportunity when it came to you, Queen of Cups. And it's because you already see some type of moment to heal yourself from this distorted feminine that was at a distance from you. Create illusions with the moon guard. Like, nobody care about what you're doing, bitch. 
Why is mad? Because when you leave, you never call. Yeah, tower. This is somebody who feel as though they lost you. Okay? Temperance. I'm saying that you was able to balance out a situation. You know? Four of swords. By resting and rejuvenating. Or by taking a rest from a king of pentacles and a queen of wands. Knight of Pentacles, who was trying to slow you up with magic that was supposed to break you down, make you hit rock bottom. Yeah, when it came to your work. This is what a family was doing. And then they're getting karma. And they're in hell of regret when it comes to this divine masculine. Because they got to walk away from them. Why is tried to take your life and felt justifiable? Yeah, Ace of Wands. Somebody took this action. Scrim card, but you overpowered them. A king of wands. I'm saying that you're getting victory and success over this couple here that's in a community. I'm saying that good news is on your side and somebody is heartbroken because they're being weighed down by a group of women who you left out in the cold. I'm saying that these people are a bunch of liars. That's why they all working together to sabotage you, queen of swords. They think that they can have control over a situation. <laughs> why is bad juju? It would backfire. Yeah, nine of swords. Somebody did bad juju. A king of pentacles. And they're getting karma for that. Nine of wands. This was an impulsive ass action. All for money. It, I'm saying that they are about to reap what the fuck they sow. Because of the path they chose. To create this illusion. Just to have a brand. Or just to start over. It's like the, the full card is like you going down a brand new path. It's like somebody chose a different path to cause conflict in the past. And that shit is coming to an end. Whatever love connection they're in, this person is fine. And they're saying that you're not in an illusion. So I'm guessing they did bad juju to have you in the moon card, in an illusion, believing in shit really working. Like, somebody weird. Why is practice? Yeah, king of swords. You're being told to practice. Use your intelligence. Five of Pentacles. These these people out in the cold. Three of Cups. These group of bitches. Ten of Wands that's trying to cause you a heavy burden. Three of Swords because they're heartbroken. Page of Wands that you're receiving good news. Four of Wands with your twin flame. Two of Cups, your partner. Cherry. Yeah. People are mad because you're receiving good news with your partner. I mean, why is you worried about my good news that I got with my partner? Where about your good news that you have with your partner? You see what I'm talking about? My eyes take money from you because they felt their kids matter more than yours. Knight of Wands. This was a Sagittarius. Eight of Cups. This person has to walk away because they sabotage themselves. We're working with these people, stealing, cheating, and a partnership just so that they can bring balance into their situation. That shit is being laid to rest by Archangel Michael. And something is backfiring. Because some type of work that somebody did on you to cause you betrayal was all because of it. So, look. If you felt like you was going through some shit, it was magic. Somebody was working day in, day out, trying to betray you with magic. Just so that you could be slowed up. But you blocked somebody. And now they're mentally stuck and trapped in a partnership with a Casanova-ass nigga. I'm seeing that the divine is here. Because somebody tried to play God in your life with mind games. And you had the script to overcome them. Why is you can't trust your neighbor? Yeah, you can't trust your neighbor. Ace of Wands, Dove in Reverse. This is somebody who wasted their talent. Dove in Reverse. I'm saying that you don't have any attachments. You're released. Six of Wands. And this is how you're getting victory and success over this Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, Page of Cups in Reverse, like I said. But yeah, Scorpio. <laughs> I'm saying that somebody really fucked themselves. Because you're not... You're not attached to them. You're not toxic. You don't have any toxic ways. This is how you got victory and success over this Queen of Pentacles. This person don't got any good news coming towards them. So yeah, y'all. This Queen of Pentacles ain't got no good news coming towards her. And it's because she was trying to win at all costs. When it came to you, Queen of Swords. But you're holding back. And you're standing your ground. And it's self-sufficient, independent energy. And it's like somebody lies is catching up to them. Because they was like... <laughs> <laughs> invested and like blinding people of the truth that they're heartbroken that they're way down this could be a whole group of bitches that's feeling left out in the cold king of swords because you said clear cut boundaries with their ass and that's the truth like don't get mad get glad ho it's really giving like 
bitches thought like they was gonna be able to blind people of the truth the whole like baby why are you even out here trying to blind people with you? Just live in your truth. Live in your life. You know? Nah. They was hating on the fact that you were self-sufficient and independent. Yeah. Somebody ruined their reputation. This is why you need to remain unbothered. Or somebody tried to ruin your reputation and you're still unbothered. Yeah. Same shit, different day. The same card gonna keep coming out. Because somebody is constantly trying to cop block you. And it's only because you're uninterested in them. Why is same shit different day here? Why is this here? Yeah, you're dealing with a bunch of fucking groupies that's stalking you. <laughs> Trying to travel towards you. But you're still unfazed. Because somebody is played the fuck out with this creeping shit. Why is cop blocking here? Yeah, somebody is trying to cop block you. A fucking impersonator. That's out here devinating abusing on you. Call their stuff moving in silence, but trying to force their way in or force you to do something that you don't want to do. And it's because they're crying over you. Why is uninterested here? Yeah, you being uninterested has somebody feeling as though they're not going to hit the jackpot. This happiness hater. Because you're too busy winning to be worried about some fake accounts. Because you're too focused mm -hmm. on the money, the bag. Y'all heard them confirmations? You too focused on the money, the bag. But yeah. Mm -hmm. You're getting victory and success. Okay? When it comes to something that you're passionate about, it's like you're taking expert action. Yeah, tell us always. I'm saying that somebody is going through a painful ending. Because they was out here doing magic. Now they want to apologize. Because you're receiving good news. Mm -hmm. Somebody try to take something for you and give it to the devil. <laughs> the fuck? Weird motherfucker. Yeah. It's like whatever painful ending or deep wound that you had because of a betrayal, you're healing. Two of Pentacles, which is allowing you to, you know, recover, adapt. Yeah. I'm saying that you working on yourself is causing somebody else heartbreak. This could be a Virgo. This could be a Libra. Yeah, the moon card. I'm saying that somebody is in an illusion. Page of swords, but got the... So somebody is in an illusion watching you, thinking they're going to get victory and success when you've already moved on and blocked them. This could be a whole family that was out here trying to win at all costs. It's an end to that cycle, Queen of Cups, because you walked away from this masculine. Why is the ten of swords here? Scorpio. Like I said, somebody is going through a painful ending. Yes, four cups. Somebody is going through a painful ending because you rejected them. Nine of Wands, you're focused on taking inspiring action, on going on adventures, you know? Yeah, temperance. I'm saying that you was able to balance out a situation. Just period. Nine of Cups, now your wishes is being fulfilled. Three of Wands in the distant horizon. Ten of Cups when it comes to your happily ever after. You could be in a divine connection. It's bringing, you know, you inner happiness, fulfillment. It's like your dreams is coming true. And the only thing you had to do was be content. Yeah, with the star card, we got the high priestess. I'm saying that you have hope. You're calm. You're believing in your faith. You know, you have a purpose. You're renewing yourself. This could be pertaining to your spirituality, fortune. But you definitely have good omen. High priestess to be a terror reader. Three of Pentacles, and you got people wanting to work with you. Cherry, you're getting victory and success over any obstacle. Four of Wands in a community. Knight of Cups, and it's because of your creativity. Eight of Swords on how somebody feels mentally stuck and trapped. Ace of Cups, your creativity. Like somebody is mad because you have a creative flow. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Yeah, you have you can have multiple priorities, but you're meeting your time management. You're able to adapt. Yeah, six of wands, and you're getting victory and success. Six of swords, we're moving forward. Higher fate. <laughs> Nine of wands. I'm saying that um, you could believe in God. You have an unwavering faith. I heard you have an unwavering faith in the divine. And you got a bunch of people competing with you because they're heartbroken that whatever they sent towards you was just, you know, I really feel as though somebody communicated a lie about you. Okay? They said that you were 
imbalance. You are suffering. You have conflicts because you make bad choices. Somebody could also say you fear commitment. Eight of Pentacles. But you've already mastered yourself. Six of Cups in the past. This is why you have good luck when it comes to karma. Like, somebody weird. It's like, because you're doing good in life, you had a hater talking shit about you. This person could have said you was a karmic. Because the love is in reverse. It's like, the page of, I mean, the Eight of Wands and the Seven of Swords is somebody communicating a lie. And the lie that they said was that you was the lovers in the reverse. They said that you was had a fear of commitment, that you made bad choices. That's why you were always in conflict, that you're missing line, that you're suffering. Like, this is what somebody was saying. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles, but you've already mastered yourself. Six of Cups in the past. Will of Fortune. This is why you have good luck and karma. This is why it is a turning point. You know? It's like, yeah, you had ups and downs in life. And yeah, shit could have been unpredictable. But with the hermit being here, you have inner strength. You also truth. I mean, you also seek the truth. You know? And you like being alone. I'm saying that you already answered the call. And this is why something is chaotic in somebody else's life. That's the fucking truth. You are the queen of swords. You have unbiased judgment. You're independent. You have clear boundaries. You direct communicator. You have a clear mind. Page of wands. You're receiving good news. Something is being given to you. And whoever this toxic ass couple is, they are about to go through an end. To the point they're going to have to walk away from you, Queen of Cups. Because it's an end to this cycle of somebody playing mind games just to receive money. Because they're getting karma for even trying to sabotage you and cause you this heavy burden. This Queen of Wands could be an Aries, Pisces. Why is the moon here? Yeah. Somebody created an illusion. And they sat back and watched. They sat back and watched. Your divine masculine. Lay something to rest with you. A king of swords. I'm saying that somebody was doing magic. This person that was doing magic could have been a Taurus, Gemini. This person was doing magic. I'm getting double Gemini. Now they want to apologize. Because you and your partner is getting karmic justice. After somebody tried to sabotage you and cause you a heavy burden. Yeah, this Queen of Wands, Aries, Pisces. This person sees some type of moment to cause you sleep at night and the anxiety. And it's because they was in their shadow self. Obsessed with any shit for you. Now this person have to walk away from you, Queen of Cups. Like I said, it's the end of the cycle of somebody playing mind games, trying to win at all costs for money. I'm saying that you're going down a whole brand new journey and you have numerous options to choose from. Only thing you need to do is have the inner carriage, the inner strength to tame the beast within and choose a path of leaving somebody out in the cold. Because this is somebody who was doing magic on you. This could be a Leo, Virgo. But yeah, this person tried to slow you up. Now they're being exposed for what they was plotting and planning. They thought they could control a situation. A mother figure. This person is about to be in a stalemate when it comes to her family. Because she's blocked. Because you are the self-sufficient independent one. And you had the Queen of Pentacles here who took some type of action here with a King of Wands. Now they in hella regret. Yeah, these are third parties to this King of Cups. Yep, they took some type of action. Now they regret. Oh well. Ain't got shit to do with you. Let this shit go chaotic around you. You stay focused on what you got going on. Because that's what bitches want you to do. They want you to worry about what they doing. For what? When I got my own life home? <laughs> the fuck would I be worried about what you got going on when I got my own life? <sighs> Something that you're not worried about? Yeah. Somebody created this because they thought they was going to get a blessing. So somebody created all this shit. I'm also seeing that somebody wanted to be initiated. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, go ahead, man. Stop doing that. Like, that shit is irritating to me. Like, I don't like that. Like, stop coming in my little office, man. You know? Doing all that, making all that. Who do, who do, who do, who do my noise? Hey, man. Go ahead, man. But yeah. I'm saying that somebody prepared some shit thinking luck was on their side when it came to your gift. Now they want to compromise after coming up with some idea thinking they was going to get some support. This person lost and they're binded for trying to bully you. I'm saying that they, th they thought they could bully you and it's, uh, what? Somebody thought bullying you was going to have you feeling cast away. Was going to have you 
feeling like a failure, poor. Are you fucking stupid, bitch? Like, I'm not even trying to be funny. Because, I mean, I know y'all be like, she cuts like little money. God know me and I know God. Don't worry about what me cuts me. What I'm saying is, somebody thought them bullying you. Look, look, look how stupid this sound. They thought them bullying you was going to cause you. Look at it. Failure. Cast it away or poor or homeless. How, how, what? How can you bullying me cause me to feel casted away, stupid? How? Th this was their goal, though. This could be somebody in real estate. They took this risk and you still survived the natural disaster. They thought they was going to dominate you, control you, but you live and learn. Because now somebody is cursed. So if they did do a curse on you, that shit got stopped. Because you are of alliance when it comes to your soulmate. When it comes to a couple. Like, somebody weird. I'm saying that a couple thought they was going to gain something. What a family. Getting a victory and success with coaching somebody. What? So somebody thought coaching people or somebody thought giving people knowledge was going to fulfill them this person is feeling rejected now because you separated yourself and you're calm and you being calm is causing somebody else to worry because they feel trapped by your self-love energy like what how do you feel trapped by my self-love energy like that don't even make sense you are your own person yeah, you had a group of friends here that's now wanting you to show them mercy after they was out here strategizing to play mind games Cause you some supernatural disturbance and treat you unfairly. Like, is you stupid, bitch? Like, angels, what is the message you want to get a Scorpio that's most important? They want you to know that whatever disturbance was going on was somebody's strategy. Okay? They want, they want you to show them mercy now. No, I'm not talking about your angels. I'm talking about this person. This person wants you to show them mercy, kindness now. After coming up with some idea. Why is disturbance here? Yeah. This person feels overworked now. Because they've been rejected from a blessing on becoming a fortune teller. You persevered. Because you got evidence that somebody was doing magic. Now they're getting karma. Why is strategy here? Yeah, somebody was planning, and they thought that they could predict you. This is somebody who thought they could mind read you. Bitch, is you stupid? Yes. Or this could be you. You could be a mind reader. You could be somebody that's trustworthy. And this is why somebody tried to dominate you. This is their goal, to bully you, to cause you depression, phobia, paranoid. So they was out here pretending to desire. To, what? So somebody was pretending To be extravagant. This is somebody who tried to hold you back. And was getting knowledge. For gain. Or they thought they could get your knowledge for gain. Man. Why is A here? Yeah this couple. Or this boy and this girl who was vowing. You know. They're furious. Stress the fuck out. Because this family now want to compromise. Because you're being seen as the gifted one. You're the one that's gifted. That's supported. And somebody else wanted to put some unwanted attention on you because you was in this self-love, calm energy. And they was feeling dull, disappointed, and isolated. Yeah, these friends. Why is the idea here? For Scorpio. It, it was the idea of these three bitches that's now falling apart. They're not having sweet dreams. They soulmate connections is falling apart. Whatever they planned didn't go as planned. And it's all because they was being stubborn. Third wood enemies thought they was professional. Yeah, a couple is now hesitant, wary, because they're about to go through a loss of a contract. Because they wanted support, would cause you stagnation with a curse. But you live and you learn. Well, they wanted support, would cause you stagnation with a curse. A couple. Honey, you got to be bored with your life. Like I said, yeah, they, they had to be dull and bored. They said a couple. A couple 
So you're telling me a man and a woman. <laughs> Yo, I got to laugh. Because my man, he, that nigga, he don't even, I even did not worry about nobody. My boyfriend would fry the fuck out of me if I ever, like, do some shit like that. That's so what you got to know. There's got to be a sucker-ass nigga and a cunt-ass bitch. You know? Not even trying to be funny, God. Because God tells you not to judge people. Look, they ain't shit. As you reflect, you see how somebody's ego really got in the way. And it's because they was a broke-ass being hunted. Because they was a wolf in sheep's clothing. And they wanted you to give them money. This is sad. Yeah, you got a grudge holder here where your lights irritates their demons to the point that they are spiritual here. But you ain't got to worry about it because this bitch is going through legal issues. What a boss daddy. Hmm. <laughs> you got to impersonate it here, bro. This shit is funny. Why do they got Michael Jackson up there? <laughs> Yeah, you got a happiness hater, but you're too busy winning to be worried about a happiness hater. Like, that's the thing. Like, that's what I was saying. Like, why in the fuck do these people think you give a fuck? Why do they think you care? <laughs> like, a couple? That is the most embarrassing shit ever. Do you know how embarrassing that is? To have your man worried about cursing another female when you in a relationship with them? Do you know how mm -hmm. sucker... Y'all heard that confirmation. Do you know how sucker that is? That is some sucker shit. Like, man, my nigga would never do nothing like that. And I know I could be talking to a real nigga that's up here too. I know you was never thinking nothing like that. And I ain't even gonna say real nigga. I'ma say you a real man. Like, you what? <laughs> oh my god. Just thinking about it like a couple, that's a whole individual man and lady. And the girl, like, oh my gosh. Do you know how low vibrational you gotta be in a couple to both do it? Mm, 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 mm. That's low vibrational. Low, low, low vibe. That's why they came out as the devil. Look, your intuition got motherfuckers bitter. Your intuition got motherfuckers resentful towards you, angry at you, saying hateful words about you. That's sad. <laughs> what we got going on? Yeah, chemistry. It's like some type of attraction spark a passion here. It's like you have a clear head. And somebody wants to apologize, but they time they 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 waited. They were out here waiting to apologize to you. Cause they felt better off. <laughs> That's sad. Why is chemistry here? Yeah, it's like somebody is obsessed with the chemistry you and your person have to the point that it's causing conflict. Because y'all could be withdrawn, but you being withdrawn is bringing in your peace. This is y'all way of setting boundaries. And somebody is heartbroken. They feel trapped because you walked away from them. This is somebody who was spying on you. <laughs> Why is perspective here? It's like you feel better off, happy, clear-headed. Yeah, avoiding someone, blocking someone. But they want to return. They feeling... Like, hopeless, in despair, falling apart because of a commitment you're in. They're bitter and want a second chance. This is somebody that when you reminisce about them, you have a bittersweet. It's bittersweet. This is somebody who was hoping you were their twin flame so that they can curse you. What? I'm also hearing somebody was manifesting your twin flame. Somebody was doing magic on your twin flame to have them in this negative mindset so that they could open up their heart to a soulmate. 
Now, this soulmate, what's so crazy about a soulmate? Your soulmate could be your brother, your sister, your mama. You feel me? Now, your twin flame, that's a lover. What's so fucking wicked here is, I see this community here. What's so fucking wicked about this message is, it would be so sad if a sister thought that they could come in between somebody's twin flame dynamic. Just, it, it sounds so sickening. If you just listen to what I'm saying, it sounds, it, me reading it sounds sickening. Why in the fuck would your brother want to return to you when they in love with somebody? Think about it. You really, you really dumb, ain't you? Whoever this is, they really, why is apology here? Forgiveness, return, sorry. Yeah, somebody want to apologize to your family. This person's judgment was clouded. They feel as though they made a mistake. It's because you stonewalled their ass. You rejected their ass. Now they're confused. Why is time here? Yeah, somebody ran out of time. You're ghosting them. Now they're going through some type of emotional storm. Unstable, affected. Because karma top of that ass. This is somebody who wanted you to chase behind them. And realize... How, what, like, th th yo, th do you not understand what I'm saying? Somebody is toxic as fuck. And you could be realizing that this person was excited, this family. Now they're shocked by a new beginning. This was a karmic lesson. And then you got clarity about a third wheel, a third party, a peer attachment. This is some type of influence here. This is sad. Yo, somebody is in pain. When it comes to a bond that you're in. Because they wanted to create some type of fantasy here. <laughs> now they stress the fuck out. Because you could be <laughs> resisting them. This is somebody that's spying on you. And they're saying that you're going through some type of self-growth, self-focused, self-finding self energy. And they want to hold on to you. To just be a distraction. To fuck with your mind. To fuck with your emotions. But, um... It, what's so funny about the whole situation is that's how we know you're demonic. That's how we know you're demonic. You think I'm going to open up my door for you to play mind games with me? Who told you you was that important? <laughs> this is somebody who really think that they important. It's giving... Somebody want to be more relevant to you. Or somebody want to be way, way more relevant in your life than you. Like, bitch, if you want to move on with your life, that's a 